Alright guys, this is Cloud838 coming to you with another RFID blocking wallet review. Today we'll be reviewing the dreaded Aluma wallet, which uh, so many people are talking about and is all over TV. This wallet has widely become known as a scam wallet because of its bad quality and design and the shady company that sells it known as Telebrands. Uh, just one search online for the Aluma wallet will yield a lot of negative reviews and customer complaints about it. Uh, moreover, the company's made several fake websites like alumawalletreviews.com to try and trick customers into thinking it's a good deal and a good design, which is uh, a little despicable, but the company seems to make most of their income in uh, tricking people this way. Um, so this wallet costs only $10 in stores, but uh, online there's a lot of hidden processing fees and such that you have to pay that they don't tell you about. Uh, so it's, it can be much more than $10 if you go online, but I got this in CVS Pharmacy. It's something that everybody seems to impulse buy because it's easy, it's in the checkout line, it, it looks flashy. Um, and if you ever heard the phrase, you get what you pay for, it couldn't be more true in this instance. So uh, right away, the size is not that bulky, it's not that terrible, but again, you assume that this wallet can hold cards and cash. Uh, the first of all, this wallet is not aluminum. It looks like it, and they say it's made of aluminum, even on their website. But uh, it's actually plastic. And when you first get it, it looks a little unsettling if you look, because these panels flex a little bit. And upon further examination, they actually easily come off and are held with double-faced tape. That's right, they're held on with tape. Uh, not a very good, high-quality design at all, as you can see that. Um, Anyways, uh, if you ignore that, then you go to the latch and try to open it. When I first got this wallet, it took me about 10 to 15 minutes to open it because I didn't understand how this thing worked. And it's extremely hard. You have to push it in hard to open it, and then the wallet opens up. Um, inside, it's got accordion pockets that... Uh, a redeeming feature is it's very easy to go through uh, each card and select one you want. Um, unfortunately, a minor jolt or if you're rushing in line, uh, you know, if you turn the wallet sideways, none of these can be held up. There's absolutely no grip in this wallet. Uh, moreover, uh, you would think it holds cash, but if you put in some double folded cash bills, the wallet doesn't close. And if you do try and double fold the cash, into this with cards it will barely close. Um, not very intuitive or helpful when you're trying to hold cash and cards like a normal wallet. And of course the Illuma wallet holds this together with tape and glue again if you can see that. These things will definitely fall off over time which is really unfortunate. Um, so uh, the aluminum panels on the outside do RFID shield it. So is the wallet RFID shielding? Yes. Is it indestructible as they say it is? No. Uh, hell no, actually. And is it waterproof like they say it is? No way. I actually tested this when it's closed. Water does trickle in. It's not like you can take this for a swim. Um, so I hope this video review raises awareness of this ongoing wallet. Uh, everyone seems to have a, something to complain about when they buy it online um, and helps people to avoid it.